Friends are great, but with some friends, you've got to be really, really careful. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about our friends. Friends are great. Friends are really great. It's really important for us to have good friends. God didn't, you know, make us to be all alone. He made us for community, right? We all have a need for friendship. First of all, friendship with God, but also friendship with other people. And that's a good thing. But the truth is that friends can be dangerous, right? Our friends can have a really big impact on our hearts. They can have a really big impact on our behaviors and, and our thoughts and feelings. So if you've got a friend that, that is a really good friend, that, that leads you to Christ, you know, helps you to be a better Christian and draw closer and closer to God, that's a great friend. And it's great to have friends like that who can, who can build you up. And it's also good to be a friend like that. But the sad truth is that most people aren't like that. And so we need to be careful. We need to be careful about the influence that we allow our friends to have on us. And we might even need to be careful about who we choose to be our friends at all. You know, this one time I was walking on the sidewalk and I, I, there was this part where I had to cross the street and I looked both ways and I started walking across the road and there was this spot where there was a puddle and it looked like a really just shallow puddle. So I just, I just walked right through the puddle, but it turned out that this puddle, it was a really deep pothole in the street. And so when I went to walk across it, instead of walking across it, I just went sploosh right down, like all the way up to like the seat of my pants. I was wet, but just like the one leg. And man, oh, I hate, I hate soggy socks in shoes. I am glad I didn't lose my shoe in this giant deep puddle. But all the way home, the whole rest of the way, it was just like squish, 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 squish. Oh, that, that squishy wet sock in my squishy wet shoe oh, drove me crazy. Well, when I got home, I, I, I called to my mom. I said, Mom, I fell in a puddle. And she came over and she looked at me and she's like, yeah, you sure did. And she told me that she had just started a load of laundry and that I should go and take these pants and put them into the washer. And it's like, you know, you lift the lid and the washer stops and you put the stuff in and you close it and the washer starts again. And she said, be sure to check your pockets. And so I took my, I took my squishy wet shoe off and I, I took my squishy wet sock off. And I went over to the laundry room and I... I took my squishy wet pants off and I threw my sock in my pants in the washer and then closed the lid and then, and then the washer kept going. And I dried off with a towel and went home to my room and got a new pair of pants. Well, then my mom asked me, she asked if I had checked my pockets again. She told me to check my pockets and then she asked me again if I had anything in my pockets. And I had forgotten. I, I had forgotten to check my pockets, but I like thought through the day. I was like, okay, did I put anything in my pockets. No, I didn't put anything in my pockets. You know, I don't have like a, like a wallet or a phone like my dad does. And I don't carry like a pen or anything like that. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything in my pockets. And so I said, no. And she said, no, you didn't check your pockets or no, you didn't have anything in your pockets. I said, oh, uh, no, I did not have anything in my pockets. And she said, okay. Well, it turns out I did. I did have something in my pocket. Because we were, we were coloring, I, I made a really cool dinosaur. He had some like cool, like sparkly crayons. And so I made a sparkly purple stegosaurus. And uh, at some point I must've put the purple crayon in my pocket. Because my mom did, you know, she did the load of laundry in the washer and then she put the wet clothes in the dryer. And when she turned the dryer on, it like melted the purple crayon. And so melted sparkly purple wax got on all of the clothes in that load of laundry. And I, I literally, I like, I ruined that whole load of laundry by not checking my pockets, not being careful. And, you know, some of the clothes, they were fine, kind of. Like, you know, my, I was wearing jeans and they were blue and the purple, you know, it just kind of made them a little bit purpley blue. But, but now they're also sparkly and they, I can't get the sparkles out. They're just, they're just sparkly and that's the way it is. And like my mom tried to warn me, you know, she warned me beforehand and then she asked me again afterwards and, and I just, I just didn't think that it was a problem. I didn't think it was a big deal until it, you know, was. And that's the way it is with our with our friends sometimes. It's really easy to think that that you know the bad behaviors of our friends are are not a big deal, right? If we've got friends who are doing things or saying things that they should not be doing or saying, it's it's easy to think, you know, eh, not a problem. But if we allow ourselves to to be friends with people who are going to influence us, guide us in a wrong direction, then we'll be going in a wrong direction. And that's obviously really, really bad. 
you know, because I wasn't careful with my pockets, because I wasn't careful with a crayon, I ruined a bunch of clothes. And that was, that was a big deal. But, man, if you're not careful with your friends, you can ruin your life. Like, literally. And so you need to be diligent. You need to be very, very careful about what you allow into your heart. And you need to be careful all the time. You can't slip up or bad stuff happens. And, you know, this this might lead some people to say, well, then you just should never have friends that aren't good friends for you. But I think that's not necessarily what God wants. I think God wants us to be good friends to people who, you know, aren't necessarily good friends for us. Jesus was, but Jesus never let the sins of others become his own sins. And if you have friends that are are leading you down a wrong path, it's really, really hard, but you might need to just find new friends. If you simply can't help but do the bad things that they're doing, then you need to not be friends with them anymore. Because your heart and your character are very, very important. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would find good friends. Find friends who who lead you closer to Christ. Friends who who can help you to be the best version of you that you can be. Be the you that God called you to be. And also that you would be that sort of friend. Be the sort of friend that, that lifts people up and doesn't drag them down. And my other challenge is that you would be very, very careful about the friends who aren't good friends like that for you. My challenge is that you would watch yourself very carefully. Watch yourself when you're with your friends and watch yourself when you're not with your friends. Watch yourself for things in your life that, that you know God does not want there. Watch yourself for bad behaviors. Watch yourself for bad thoughts and, and feelings. And if instead of you having a positive impact on these friends' lives, they're having a negative impact on your life, you need to find new friends. And it's hard. It, it is hard. It is so much easier to drag someone down than it is to lift someone up. And that's why you need to be so, so careful. And it's so easy for us to, you know, lie to ourselves and say it's not that big a deal. But it is. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 says, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. And so you need to be really, really careful about your friends. Bad company corrupts good character. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And yeah, this, this is a hard, hard subject. Because man, if somebody else you know, notices that your friends are having a bad impact on you, and they, you know, tell you that, oh, that's hard. You don't like to hear that, man. Like, like you get, you get really, really defensive. And that's why it's so important for us to watch ourselves and to be open to, you know, criticism. If someone, if someone tells us that our friends are not good for us, we really need to be careful about that. We really need to take that to heart and really seriously think about that. Don't just get defensive. And man, if you can be a good friend to, to people who are not necessarily a good friend for you, that's great. If you can do that without allowing the bad stuff in their life to become bad stuff in your life, if you can do that, that's awesome, but, but it's hard and it's gonna take a lot of work. And if you can't do it, which is totally, totally possible, it's totally possible to fail at this, then you need new friends. And that's hard, but it's important. It's good to try to pull people up, but do not let them drag you 